In this video, I want to talk about how you calculate the future value with multiple interest rates. Now, usually we're used to dealing with a problem where we have one interest rate. So we assume that you have this interest rate for 10 periods and you want to find the future value in period 10. Then there's no problem. We apply this formula here where the future value equals the present value times 1 plus r raised to the teeth power, where r is the interest rate, and it's the same interest rate over the entire time period, and t is the number of periods we're compounding over. But what happens if the interest rate changes someplace in the middle? So I've got an example here. Suppose you deposit $100 today, and you'd like to find the future value in year 8, but for the first five periods, you get an interest rate of 5%, and then in periods 6, 7, and 8, you get an interest rate of 9%. So this might be a little confusing, but you're getting the interest rate between year 0 and year 1, 1 and 2, all the way up to year 5, and then between 5 and 6, you're going to get the 9%, between 6 and 7, you'll get the 9%, and between 7 and 8, you'll get the 9%. So how are you going to find the future value of this? Well, perhaps the best way to think of this is to treat it as two steps. So the future value in time period 5 is going to be, we'll just use the formula we have up here, 100 times 1 plus the interest rate, so 1 plus 0 0.05 raised to the fifth power. And we're going to get... 1.05 y to the x key raises to a power fifth power times 100 and so we get 127.63 so this is in year 5 it's 127.63 now we can treat this as a lump sum in year five, and we want to go out one, two, three more periods, but now these three periods will be compounded out at an interest rate of 9%. So the future value in year eight is going to be 127.63 times 1.09 raised to the third power. And so let's see what we get here. 1.09, raise it to the third power, and then times the 127 lump sum, uh, 127.63 we found in year 5, and we get 165.28. So that's the way you go about dealing with the future value when you have more than one interest rate. We could have had three interest rates, four interest rates, and if you were going to do this with more than one cash flow, you would have to use this procedure for all of the different cash flows. So you're going to uh, find the future value or you're going to compound out by the appropriate interest rate for the number of periods that rate is um, in effect and then use the next interest rate for the next periods uh, n next number of periods that that rate is in effect. But the easiest way to think of it is treat it as two separate problems. Take this $100, find the future value in year 5, now treat this 127.63 as a lump sum, and let's find the future value in year 8.